Hey guys, this is Grant, and this is my MacBook Pro. And today, we're going to be installing um, the newest version of macOS, macOS Koya. So, as you can see, this is a 13-inch mid-2012 MacBook Pro, and it's currently running macOS and Nova. By the way, this is not a tutorial. I am just doing this because I did a video on it last year with Mac with Sonoma and I figure I I figure I should do it with Mac with Sequoia as well so let's get started as you can see I have it right there you know, zoom in a little bit so you can see it but oh alright there's that. I'm trying to get an angle right here. It's right there, and I can press upgrade now, and it should work. A few, like a month ago, I tried it, but it didn't work. Now, since I have Open Core, the newest version, 2.0.0, it should work. I'm gonna need to plug it real quick. I just unplugged my Linux MacBook, which I've been using. Whoa, which I've been using for a little bit. Or actually, I just used it for one day, not really a little bit. The reason I was using it is because this isn't the fastest to open apps and stuff. But that's for another video. I am going to try Mac with Sequoia on this just to see the speed and stuff. And now you can click upgrade. I don't even register the click. That's a problem with this. It just doesn't do that sometimes. Alright, so we can click agree. So it's, it's downloading it now. And that. Actually, I'm not going to do a time lapse on this pause the video. Um, here, here it is downloading. Alright, so um, it looks like it finished. I thought it was going to take forever. But, as you can see, it's restarting now. Uh, it looked like it was going to be like... It said wait for 35 minutes or whatever and uh it wasn't moving from that after it said it finished like downloading it and not installing it yet but it looks like it's installing right now so that is that's good there's really nothing to update you about except that so see you when we're at a different screen than this I've tried it like I said, I did try it before. It got stuck on this screen. So, let's hope that doesn't happen. Alright, so it looks like it installed. Uh, and now we need to apply some patches. Dang it, and it didn't focus. Will focus better? Uh, a little bit. But as you can see, yeah, the patches are applied, so that is what we are doing now. Uh, I went to eat dinner. As you can see, actually you can't... But that was the Mac OS Sequoia logo. Right there. And yeah, there it is. For some reason, this MacBook does that and just goes to this screen. And then, once you type in your passcode, it just loads in. Alright, so here it is. This is Mac OS Sequoia, and I can prove it. Go in here. MacBook Pro, 13 inch mid 2012, i5 and running Sequoia 
15.0. Um, the first question, maybe, how does it run? Well, oh, there you go. Slower than before. Uh, I'll uh, technically road test it and actually use it for a little bit. But this is this is a little slow, let's be honest. But now we can test the Mac OS Sequoia features. One of the main headline features is iPhone mirroring. I heard that doesn't work on when you do a uh, open core, but I still have. I'm just. I'm still gonna try. Why wouldn't I? I did accidentally open that, and the app does open. So there is that. You go here. Look, iPhone. Here's that. I'll pop up the iPhone right here too. Yeah, that. Make sure. Powered on. It's near the Mac. Bluetooth and Wi Fi. I'm pretty sure I do have both enabled. Bluetooth is on, Wi Fi is on. So. I think the people that said, yep, this doesn't work, are right. Uh, kind of disappointing. Yeah. But what did I expect? Because I was told it doesn't work. Is there really anything else to test? That was like the main headline feature. I guess I can change the wallpaper and stuff. I can go to wallpaper, then I can switch to Sequoia. There we go. I'd rather have the other color though. Maybe, I don't know. I'll choose that one. So now, that's the Mac OS Sequoia. Why is it blurry? It's the Mac OS Koi wallpaper. Now, uh, another feature is, I don't know, is that on by default? Message manager, screen mirroring. It should be on by default that you can, I guess we can do settings. That. Music. And see if we can do Uh, like, I can't update, stop it, Intel Macs don't support the new Twitter app, focus, stop focusing, can I move closer, doesn't look like it's wanting to do it, well let me, Final update. No. Is there a way out there? Oh. I see it. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. No? Why can't I do that? Do I have to use the full screen for that? Yeah, there we go. So you can snap windows to each side now. Stuff like that. Start listening. Go home. Loading iCloud library may take several minutes. Okay. So now I'm pretty sure I can also go like that. No.
What is it doing? Why is this down there now? I get what it's trying to do, but like... Can, can I please... That's not what I meant to do, why did that? There? Can music not... Why? Why? Why can't music go that far? That is weird. No music, I guess. You can't have music in iOS. Not iOS, this is an iOS. So, pretty sure, yep, that works. And it looks just as finicky as when I saw it in the... In like, the beta or whatever. It's pretty finicky. But, yeah, now I can go like, yep. And then, uh, I can go like, yeah, I'll change the wallpaper. Ugh. So, of course, support for Open Core will get better. It is just... It's not really, it's not Open Core's fault, really, because this is a 12-year-old MacBook. And it's not running the latest software. It's not even supposed to. They tried their best, and they got a good job from me. Even though it kind of feels slow at times. Like, look. Look. It, it lags like a little bit. And it's kind of like just annoying enough. I'm sure it'll get like a little smoother as they get time to like optimize more stuff. And like fix it kind of. But that is it. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitter. Or X. Whatever you want to call it. That will be in the description. And. Uh, bye.